Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. Today, we're going to talk about one called Economy of Mechanism, which is a really weird name. What does that really mean, Jason? Yeah, I mean, when you talk about economy of mechanism, really what we're talking about is you want to use the economy, right? The cheapest, easiest, quickest solution that will do the thing you want to do. So for example, if I want to protect this pen, right? Um, the quickest and easiest way for me to protect this pen would probably be to put it in my pocket and carry it with me all day long. Because if it's in my pocket all day long, Kip can't go in my office and steal my pen. Right Now, if I don't want to use that, which is a free solution because I have to watch it all day long, I might want to put it in my desk drawer over here and lock it and take the key with me. That again is a very cheap lock. You could probably pick it, but for this pen, it's only a you know $3 pen. I really don't care. Um, it can be stolen. It's not a big deal. And you you kind of make the thing based on what it is. But if this was a top secret thumb drive with all the military secrets, I'd want to make it in a lock building with cameras, with guards, with safes, and like triple and, and double checks all the different locks. And, and so the protection mechanism or control has to be simple and small to do the job. But if you need more, then you will do more. But it's all about economy. Don't overkill to protect something that doesn't matter. That's kind of how I look at economy of, of mechanism. Yeah. Now that's that that's completely reasonable. 